What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're out in the garden today. It is Sunday, April 10th. It's 39 degrees. Thus the hat. We're gonna put some beats in. And that's what's going on at Noah's house. Okay, um, I figured today's good a day as any to put some beats in. It's 39, it's gonna get up into the 50s today. And starting out, coming up this week, it should start staying into the 40s to 50s overnight, I'm hoping. But I put these beats out in the cold frame about a week ago, a few days ago, and show you what we have. Oh, look at that. I haven't come up with a better way of keeping it closed. And here we go. So we're showing 69.6 degrees in the cold frame. I just put this out here. Um, I just built it. I didn't make a video building it. But uh, I'm not sure if I like it where it's at. I was dug in a little. This is my yard everywhere. Oh, it's just this nasty clay that doesn't drain. But I put this tray of, uh, there's kale and stuff like that. Some pretty, pretty cold hardy stuff out here in the cold, cold frame. And I have the beets out here. <clears throat> but I think today is a good day to get the beets in. And I will be putting them in that hoop right there under there. So they will be under cover. They're not going to be out in the elements, so to speak. So let's get the beets over there. Get the dibber out. We'll get some stuff in the ground. Alrighty guys, um, like I said, it is 39 degrees. It's really cold. Um, I shaved this funny mustache thing in to mess with my daughter because I figured warm weather was coming and I haven't shaved in years. And now my face is really cold. But anyways, I've got this hoop, you can see the condensation. Um, like we just saw under the cold frame there, that was what, 60 degrees, 65 degrees. I'm gonna go with it's just about the same under here, possibly even a little warmer because there's a lot of good uh, soil um, down in there. Wow, hear all the birds? I think they're crows. But this is what we have going on. Oh. So I have my my tray of beets, multi-sown beets, just like Charles Dowding has shown us all to do it. And I definitely think they're big enough to go in. I have my new dibber that I made. I'm unsure how this is gonna work with the really smaller cells, but I should have 36 cells. They're all multi-sown. So even if I have three, three times 36 is more math than I can actually do. But I don't want to have this open too long because it is cold out. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to plop a couple in there. I'll bring the camera in and show you how I'm doing it too. Let me get some lines drawn in. So here we are. Got the hoop open. Got a lot of condensation in here. No ice. Some creepy spider web things but here's the beats like i said I, th I think they're about ready to go i don't have a huge success getting things out of my module trays like charles dowding does and these are all detroit beats um i tried growing some different ones a couple years ago and th these just go pretty good so i have some some lines like i said i'd like to get six maybe in here per i didn't really moisten anything because, well, this is all fairly new compost that came from another bed. Did I get six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. I'm not real great with math. These are multi-sewn. And let me get some holes in here. Five, eight, 
six. <clears throat> okay, we've got all our holes dib dibbered in. I'm not real sure if the holes are going to be too big, too shallow. Um, these may be a little close, which I realized sometimes the leaves will get caught in here when I close it, but time's going to tell. Now I do have, which I don't have, back in a sec. All right, so we're dibbed up. We got a lot of holes. Um, I have six rows of six holes, which max out with the six by six model tray I have. If it doesn't, please don't make fun of my mess. Um, like I said, all Detroit beats. And let's see how they come out. I'm going to use a little pencil because these don't have the biggest of holes on the bottom. These are old burpee trays I had from probably going back 15 years. But oh, look, look, we're out here. Let's get it. It is really cold. I'm sure you can hear some wind chimes going as well. It's not too bad. We got some roots. They're looking good. <laughs> well, as you can see what I'm doing, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me get these in here. Probably gonna get a water and can get a little bit of water. Some of the holes I did, I think are a little too deep. Some are too shallow, but I, th I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna get them in there. Whew. Okay, well, um, that's the beats. Some definitely look better than others. Um, it is cold out. I hope I'm not a little too preemptive on this. Out of all my trays, only one cell was frazzled. And I don't really know what happened. But that tray was frazzled-dazzled. Um, everybody's in there. Still working out my plugging in the module thing. Uh, my dibber... Some went too deep, a little bit of dirt. Some went wide enough. I don't know, but I'm pretty happy with this. Turns out there is one other variety besides Detroit in here. Some early wanderer. Couldn't tell you what one it was, though. But like I said, out of this whole tray, only lost one module. Some have four, some have five, some have two. But anyways, I wanted to plan out some beats today. That's what's going on at Noah's house. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out some other videos. And have a warm April because we're not at this moment. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.